प्यारे बच्चों आज के पाठ विच सब तो पहला पीरियोडिक टेबल दी ग्रुप 17 दे एलिमेंट्स दे एक नजर मारिए दिस ग्रुप कंटेन्स द एलिमेंट्स फ्लोरीन क्लोरीन ब्रोमीन आयोडीन एंड एस्टेटीन दीस एलिमेंट्स आर कलेक्टिवली नोन एज अ हेलोजेंस दिस नेम इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स हेलो एंड जीन्स मीनिंग सॉल्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग which brings to our attention the fact that the elements form salts. Fluorine is a highly reactive pale yellow gas with a strong odor. It is highly poisonous. Chlorine is a yellowish green poisonous gas with a characteristic sharp odor. Bromine is a reddish brown liquid. It is denser than water. Iodine is a violet black solid with a metallic luster. It easily sublimes at room temperature to form violet vapor. Astatine does not occur in nature. It is an artificially obtained radioactive element. It is characterized by a half-life of somewhat more than 8 hours and is therefore not of any practical importance. All halogens precede the noble gases in the periodic table because their atoms contain one electron less than the electronic configuration of the inert gas. They have very strong tendency to acquire stable inert gas configuration by accepting one electron. For this reason, halogens exhibit non-metallic behavior. Group 17 elements Pare Horjanan to Pella Achte Sikhya Uddesh Sanjhe Karlaye. On completion of this topic, learners will be able to discuss occurrence of group 17 elements, discuss electronic configuration of group 17 elements, explain physical properties of halogens, discuss dispersion forces in halogens, explain trends in chemical reactivity in halogens. Occurrence of group 17 elements प्यारे विद्यार्थियों आओ हुन असी ग्रुप 17 एलिमेंट्स बारे होर जानिए हुन तक असी जान चुके हां कि एस्टेटीन हेलोजन फैमिली द लास्ट मेंबर है इट इज अ रेडियोएक्टिव एलिमेंट विद अ वेरी शॉर्ट लाइफ ऑल अदर हेलोजेंस आर अबंडेंट इन नेचर इन द कंबाइंड स्टेट द वेरी हाई इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटीज ऑफ हेलोजेंस मेक देम वेरी रिएक्टिव एंड हेंस दे आर नॉट फाउंड इन फ्री स्टेट let us have a look at a chart to know where they are found in combined state. Let us have a look at the sources of halogens. Fluorine is the 13th element in the order of abundance in crustal rocks of the earth. It is present mainly as insoluble fluorides. The three most important minerals are fluorite, CaF2 and fluorapatite. 3 Ca3, PO4 hold twice CaF2, cryolite, Na3, AlF6. Of these, fluorite is extensively processed for the recovery of F fluorine. Minor occurrence of fluorine are found in rare minerals such as topaz, vilumite, NAF, etc. Small quantities of fluorine is also present in soil, river water plants, bones and teeth of animals. Chlorine occurs in sea water, salt wells and salt beds as sodium chloride, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride and calcium chloride. Chlorine is 20th most abundant element in crustal rocks. Sea water contains chlorides, bromides, iodides of potassium, magnesium and calcium but is mainly sodium chloride solution that is 2% by mass. The dried beds of inland lakes and seas contain huge deposits of sodium chloride. Carnalite, that is KCl, MgCl2, 
सिक्स एच टू ओ एंड कैल्शियम क्लोराइड ब्रोमीन अकर्स एज ब्रोमाइड्स ऑफ अल्कली मेटल्स और अल्कलाइन अर्थ मेटल्स इन सी वाटर एंड सॉल्ट लेक्स दैट इज एज सोडियम ब्रोमाइड पोटेशियम ब्रोमाइड मैग्नीशियम ब्रोमाइड एसेट्रा आयोडीन अकर्स एज आयोडाइड्स ऑफ अल्कली मेटल्स इन सी वाटर इट अकर्स इन ब्राइन वेल्स सी वीड्स सोडियम आयोडेट एंड एज एन ए आई ओ थ्री इन चिली सॉल्ट पेट्री आयोडीन अकर्स इन वेरियस सी वीड्स अप टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बाई मास एज अल्कली मेटल आयोडाइड्स द एबेंडेंस ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द अर्थ्स क्रस्ट आर गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ चार्ट एज शोन ऑन द स्क्रीन द एबेंडेंस ऑफ फ्लोरिन इन द अर्थ्स क्रस्ट इन पार्ट्स पर मिलियन इज फाइव फोर्टी फोर क्लोरिन इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ब्रोमीन इज टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड आयोडीन इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स द रिलेटिव एबेंडेंस ऑफ फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन ब्रोमीन आयोडीन आर थर्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर्टी सेवन एंड सिक्सटी टू रेस्पेक्टिवली विद्यार्थियों आ हूँ असी ट्रेंड्स इन एटोमिक प्रॉपर्टीज से विचार करते हाँ ही इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेसन के बारे में जानते हाँ द एटम्स ऑफ ग्रुप सैवनटीन हाव सैवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द आउटर मोस्ट शेल एंड हाव द जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेसन एन एस टू एन पी फाइव लेट एस हाव अ लुक आ द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेसन ऑन द स्क्रीन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बैटर Electronic configuration of group seventeen elements. Let us learn about the electronic configuration of group seventeen elements. The atom of fluorine has nine electrons altogether, and hence its electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p five, or in the noble gas notation, helium followed by two s two, two p five. The nucleus of a chlorine atom consists of 17 protons so there are 17 electrons in the atom occupying 3 electron shells chlorine has atomic number of 17 the electronic configuration of chlorine atom is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 or electronic configuration can be written as that of neon 3s2 3p5 the atomic number of bromine is 35 and its electronic configuration is argon 3d10 4s2 4p5 the atomic number of iodine is 53 the electronic configuration is krypton 4d10 5s2 5p5 the atomic number of astatine is 85 and its electronic configuration is xenon 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p5 if we write down the electronic configuration of all group 17 elements we will notice a recurring part ns2 np5 corresponding to the valence electrons let us now learn about the physical characteristics of group 17 elements let us first discuss about the atomic and ionic radii the halogens have the smallest atomic radii in their respective periods due to maximum effective nuclear charge among themselves the atomic and ionic radii increase with increase in atomic number this is due to increase in the number of quantum shells you can see from the chart that the atomic radius is increasing from 64 picometer in case of fluorine to 99 picometer in case of chlorine and 114 picometer in case of bromine and 133 picometer in case of iodine it is also clear from the values of the ionic radius that the value is 133 picometer in case of fluorine 
which gradually keeps on increasing down the group to 220 picometer in case of iodine. Atomic and ionic radii of chlorine. The atomic radius of chlorine is 99 picometers while the radius of chlorine anion is much greater which is 181 picometers. This is because the addition of an extra electron causes increased repulsive forces between the electrons and consequently expansion of the electron cloud. So anions are always larger than the atoms from which they are formed. Let us now have a look at the trends in reactivity of the elements of group 17. Fluorine occurs in period 2 of the periodic table. So an atom of this element has two electron shells which make it the smallest atom in the group. A chlorine atom situated in the period 3 has one more electron shell. So it is larger than the fluorine atom. You can easily see that the atoms on the next following elements increase in size as they gain further electron shells. Thus going down the group, the number of electron shells increases and as a result, the atomic radii increases. With increasing atomic radius, we can observe the decreasing tendency of the halogens to undergo chemical reactions. The reason for the decreasing reactivity is the growing distance between the electrons in the outermost shell and the positively charged nucleus. Consequently, the forces that attract the valence electron to the nucleus become weaker which makes it more and more difficult to achieve the electron octet in the valence shell. Note that in addition to the interaction between the nucleus and the valence electrons, is adversely affected by the inner shells of the atoms. Fluorine is the halogen with the smallest atomic radius and shows highest reactivity in the group. It reacts with all elements except helium, neon and argon. In many cases the reaction is explosive. Going down the group the reactivity of the halogens decreases steadily. Let us now have a look at the ionization energies, which are measured in kilojoules per mole. The ionization energies of halogens are very high. This indicates that they have very little tendency to lose electrons. However, on going down the group from fluorine to iodine, the ionization energies decreases. This is due to gradual increase in atomic size which is maximum for iodine consequently it has the least ionization energy in family let us now have a look at the melting and boiling points which are measured in kelvin the melting and boiling points of halogens increase with the increase in atomic number down the group Can you predict why does this happen? This happens because the forces existing between these molecules are weak van der Waals forces which increase down the group. This is also clear from the change of state from fluorine to iodine. At room temperature, fluorine and chlorine are gases. Bromine is a liquid, while iodine and astatine are solids. Let us view an animation for understanding the concept in a better way. Melting point explanation. The diatomic molecules of halogens attract one another. 
द हैवियर द मॉलिक्यूल्स ग्रेटर आर द अट्रैक्टिव फोर्सेज दैट इज वाई द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट्स ऑफ हेलोजेंस इंक्रीज स्टेडिली विथ इंक्रीज इन मॉलिकुलर मास फ्रॉम फ्लोरिन टू आयोडीन द फर्स्ट टू हेलोजेंस फ्लोरिन एंड क्लोरिन आर गैसेज एट रूम टेम्परेचर ब्रोमीन इज अ लिक्विड एंड आयोडीन इज अ सॉलिड दिस शोज दैट फिजिकल स्टेट ऑफ हेलोजेंस चेंजेस फ्रॉम गैशियस टू लिक्विड टू सॉलिड एज वी गो डाउन द ग्रुप इन द सॉलिड स्टेट हेलोजेंस फॉर्म मॉलिकुलर क्रिस्टल्स composed of separate molecules going down the group the attractive forces that is the van der waals forces between halogens increase in strength this explains the trends of increasing melting points in the process of melting a molecular crystal breaks up into single molecules We now come to the property of electron gain enthalpy and will try to learn its trends down the group. All these have maximum electron affinities in their respective periods. This is due to the fact that the atoms of these elements have only one electron less than the stable noble gas that is ns2 and p6 configurations. Therefore have maximum tendency to accept an additional electron formation of anions the elements of group 17 can add one electron more to their outermost subshell that is np in this way their atoms become anions chlorine has the following electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p5 when a chlorine atom accepts an electron into its outermost shell 3p subshell it becomes an anion with the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 this is the stable configuration of the noble gas that is the last element of the period thus chlorine achieves the electronic configuration of argon let us now discuss the second property in general electron affinity decreases from top to bottom in a group from the screen we find that the electron affinity of fluorine measured in kilojoules per mole is minus 333 in case of chlorine is minus 349 in case of bromine it is minus 325 and in case of iodine it is minus 296 kilojoules per mole This is due to the fact that the effect of increase in atomic size is much more than the effect of increase in nuclear charge and thus the additional electron feels less attraction by the large atom consequently electron affinity or the electron gain enthalpy decreases please observe carefully that fluorine has unexpectedly less electron affinity than chlorine Therefore chlorine has a highest electron affinity in this group how can we account for the lower electron affinity of fluorine as compared to chlorine this is due to very small size of the fluorine atom as a result there are strong interelectronic repulsions in the relatively small 2p subshell of fluorine and thus the incoming electron does not feel much attraction therefore its electron affinity is small thus electron affinity among halogens varies as shown on the screen chlorine has the highest electron affinity in the periodic table let us now have a look at the next property that is electronegativity
children what do we infer from the table shown on the screen halogens have large electronegativity values the values decreases down the group from fluorine to iodine because the atomic size increases and the effective nuclear charge decreases fluorine is the most electronegative element in the periodic table let us now discuss about the next property that is metallic or non metallic character because of very high ionization energy values all halogens are non metallic in character the non metallic character decreases as we go down the group from fluorine to iodine let me remind you that iodine is a solid and has metallic luster it forms a number of compounds such as icl icl3 which form positive ions such as i positive ion and i3 positive ion respectively let us now learn about the color of halogens all the halogens are colored the color of different halogens are shown on the screen fluorine is light yellow in color chlorine is greenish yellow bromine is reddish brown and iodine is dark violet do you know why it is so let me explain you the color of halogens is due to the fact that their molecules absorb radiations from visible light and the outer electrons are easily excited to higher energy levels the amount of energy required for excitation depends upon the size of the atom fluorine atom is the smallest and the force of attraction between the nucleus and the outer electrons is very large as a result it requires large excitation energy and absorbs violet light of high energy and therefore appears pale yellow a complementary color on the other hand iodine needs very less excitation energy and absorbs yellow light of low energy thus it appears dark violet similarly we can explain the greenish yellow color of chlorine and reddish brown color of iodine dispersion forces in halogens the diatomic molecules of halogen elements are nonpolar because the component atoms are joined by a symmetrical covalent bond characteristics of molecules made up of atoms of equal electronegativity nonpolar molecules can attract each other only by means of dispersion forces random motion of electrons in the electron cloud surrounding a molecule can result in an instantaneous separation of charge one part of the molecule becomes positively charged while the other part takes on a negative charge the more electrons a molecule contains the more likely is the formation of such instantaneous dipoles a momentary dipole in one molecule can induce a dipole in a neighboring molecule the two dipolar molecules attract each other for a short while the magnitude of attractive force is greater for molecules attracting readily to form momentarily dipoles thus heavier molecules attract each other more strongly than lighter molecules the result is that the boiling point of nonpolar substances should increase steadily with increasing molecular mass indeed there's a steady increase in the molecular mass of group 17 elements from fluorine to iodine in the solid state the halogen elements form molecular crystals made up of separate molecules dispersion forces increase going down the group which explains the increase in melting point in the process of melting a molecular crystal breaks down to single molecules we will now discuss about the oxidation states Halogens have only one electron less than the next noble gas therefore they can get the noble gas configuration either by gaining one electron to form uni negative ion x negative ion or by sharing electrons with other atoms 
Since fluorine is the most electronegative element, it always shows an oxidation state of minus 1. It does not show any positive oxidation state. The other elements also show positive oxidation states of plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. The higher oxidation states of chlorine, bromine and iodine are due to the presence of vacant d orbitals in their valence shells. As a result, the outer S or P electrons can easily be promoted to the vacant d orbitals as shown on the screen. In the ground state of chlorine, bromine and iodine, only one electron is free having oxidation state of plus 1 or minus 1. In the first excited state, the oxidation state is plus 3. In the second excited state, the oxidation state is plus 5. And in the third excited state, the oxidation state is plus 7. Thus the halogens exhibit oxidation states. Fluorine minus 1. Chlorine minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. Bromine minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. Iodine has oxidation state of minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7. Aahun Asi trends in chemical reactivity of elements and compounds the Nazar Mardeha. The halogens are the most reactive elements as a family. Fluorine is the most reactive of all the halogens. The reactivity of the halogens decreases down the group. The high reactivity of halogens is due to the following reasons. Low dissociation energies. All the halogens have very low dissociation energies. As a result, they can readily dissociate into atoms and react with other substances. As shown on the screen, the dissociation energies of halogens are quite low in comparison to common molecules such as hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen which are 458 495 and 941 respectively. Do you know the reason why it is so? Halogens have very high electron affinity values and therefore have very strong tendency to gain an electron. Thus, halogens are very reactive elements due to their low dissociation energies and high electron affinity values. As clear from the values of bond dissociation energies, fluorine has the lowest bond dissociation energy. This is due to weak FF bond because of the repulsion between the non-bonding electrons in the small molecule. Therefore, it is most reactive among the halogens. Let us now discuss some of the important chemical reactions of halogens. Oxidizing power of halogens. Halogens have high electron affinity values and therefore they have strong tendency to take up the electron. That is, halogen takes up an electron to form a halide ion. As a result, they act as powerful oxidizing agents. Fluorine is the strongest oxidizing agent and oxidizes other halide ions in solution or even in the solid phase. In general, a halogen of lower atomic number will oxidize halide ion of higher atomic number and therefore will liberate them from the salt solution as shown on the screen. F2 reacts with 2X negative to form 2F negative where X equals to chloride, bromide or iodide. Chlorine reacts with 2X negative to form 2Cl negative ions and a molecule of X2 where X stands for bromide or iodide. Bromine reacts with 2I negative to form 2Br negative and I2. 
The decreasing oxidizing power of the halogen as we go down the group is shown by the decreasing reduction potentials. Fluorine has an E0 of 2.87, Chlorine has an E0 of 1.40, Bromine has an E0 of 1.09 and Iodine has E0 of 0 0.62 while Astatine has an E0 of minus 0 0.3. Next, we will learn about the oxides of halogens. Fluorine forms two oxides, F2O and F2O2, which are called oxygen fluorides. In this case, fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen. On other hand, the oxides of chlorine, bromine and iodine are called oxides. They form oxides from plus 1 to plus 7 oxidation states. Children, have a look at the oxides of halogens in different oxidation states on the screen. What do you observe? The oxidation states vary from plus 1 to plus 7. In case of OF2, the oxidation state is minus 1. In case of F2O2, it is plus 2. Chlorine forms 4 oxides. Cl2O having oxidation state of 1, Cl2O2 having oxidation state of plus 4, Cl2O6 having oxidation state of plus 6 and Cl2O7 having oxidation state of plus 7. Bromine exists in 3 oxidation states. Br2O having oxidation state of plus 1, BrO2 having oxidation state of plus 4, BrO3 having oxidation state of plus 6. Lastly, we come to iodine which exists in 3 oxidation states. I2O4 exists in plus 4 oxidation state. I2O5 exists in plus 5 oxidation state. I2O7 exists in plus 7 oxidation state. All these oxides are powerful oxidizing agents and decompose explosively when subjected to mechanical shock or heat. Vidyarthiyo, aaj te paad baare paadan to baat, aao, mein tu anu kuch prashan puchti haan. Taki pata lag sake ki tu si ki kuch sikhya. My first question is, Halogens have maximum negative electron gain enthalpy in the respective periods of the periodic table. Why? Answer is, Halogens have the smallest size in the respective periods and therefore high effective nuclear charge. As a consequence, they readily accept one electron to acquire noble gas electronic configuration. My next question is, although electron gain enthalpy of fluorine is less negative as compared to chlorine, fluorine is a stronger oxidizing agent than chlorine. Why? Answer is, it is due to low enthalpy of dissociation of FF bond. High hydration enthalpy of fluoride ion. My next question is Electrons gain enthalpy of fluorine is less than that of chlorine, but it is still a more powerful oxidizing agent than chlorine. Why? The answer is the oxidizing character is expressed in terms of reduction potential that is E0 and not electron gain enthalpy. Since the reduction potential of fluorine E0 is equal to 2.87 volts is more than that of chlorine E0 is equal to 1.49 volts. It is therefore a more powerful oxidizing agent. My next question is, fluorine does not show variable oxidation states while other members of the halogen family exhibit variable oxidation states. Why? And the answer is, fluorine has no d orbitals in its valence shell. As a result, electrons cannot be promoted and therefore 
it shows oxidation state of minus 1 only in its compounds. However, the members of its family have vacant orbitals to which electron promotion can easily take place from P and S subshells. As a result, they can show variable states of minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5 and plus 7 in their compounds. My next question is, bond dissociation of fluorine is very low. Explain. Answer is, bond length of FF bond is less than CLCL bond length. Therefore, its bond dissociation enthalpy is expected to be more than chlorine, but actually it is less. This is due to greater force of repulsion in lone pairs of electrons in fluorine molecules than in chlorine and as a result bond cleavage becomes easier. Hope I have made a successful attempt to clear your doubts and this will help you in fetching good marks in the exam. Thank you for your cooperation and attention. Looking forward to the next class. See you then.